This video will introduce you to the DocuSign Postman collections and show you how to get started using Postman to experiment with DocuSign API calls. Note that all values, email addresses, keys, secrets, tokens, and other personal information shown are for demo purposes only and have been deleted or revoked. If you're new to our platform, Postman offers a great way to explore our endpoints and learn about them quickly. Postman is an extremely popular tool for sending REST, SOAP, and GraphQL requests, expecting a response and easily debugging them. If you're still actively considering technologies to integrate, it's massively convenient to kick the tires a bit with an API before writing a single line of code. As the Postman website puts it, Postman collections are portable sets of API requests that you can reuse, automate, and share with others. You can use a collection to save important details for each API request, such as the authorization type, parameters and headers, request bodies, scripts and variables, and documentation. So, the DocuSign Public Postman collections let you test DocuSign API calls in the Postman app and use the results to help you develop your DocuSign integrations. We provide Postman collections for the following APIs, eSignature, Web Forms, Maestro, Navigator, Rooms, Click, DocuSign Admin, Monitor, and Notary. Before you get started, be sure to have installed and set up the necessary dependencies. I'll cover what those are next. First, you need your own DocuSign developer account. Developer accounts are free to get and free to use. You can create your developer account on the Developer Center. Select the down arrow next to Developer Account in the top nav, and then select Create Account. You'll get a simple web form to complete. Confirm your registration by email and your account is set up to go. You'll also need to create a Postman account and install the Postman app. Create your account by selecting Sign Up for Free from the Postman.com top nav. Postman provides apps for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Download the installer for your OS from Postman.com slash downloads. Finally, to make API calls to DocuSign in Postman, you need to create an app in your DocuSign developer account and get an integration key. I'll show you how to do that and then demonstrate how to install and set up the DocuSign Postman collection for the eSignature REST API. In your DocuSign account, choose Admin from the top nav, then select Apps and Keys from the left nav. Select the Add App and Integration key button, give your app a name and select Create App. In the New Apps Configuration screen, copy the integration key value and store it and then under Authentication, select Add Secret Key, copy that value immediately. Once you close the page, you'll never be able to access that value. You can always create another secret key if you need to. Finally, add a redirect URI. This is for a callback URL. When you build your app, which will ask your user to grant permissions to itself, you use this URL to redirect the user back to your app once they've granted permission. Here I'm using a generic callback URL, www.example.com slash callback, which works for testing purposes. Now you're ready to install and configure a DocuSign Postman collection. I'll demo that for you now. I'll start on the DocuSign Developer Center on the Postman Collections page. You can find it by selecting Resources from the top nav, then Tools and then Postman Collections. This page walks you through the installation process. First, select Set up your environment. This opens a dialog where you can paste in the values you got from your Apps and Keys page, I'll do that now. Once you've pasted in your integration key and secret key values for the app you created in your DocuSign account, you can leave the environment and API version as is, and select Create Environment. Next, under Step 2, Import into Postman, select the DocuSign API collection you want to install. For this demo, I'll choose the eSignature REST API. Postman will show you a dialog asking you to fork the collection. This operation copies the master version of the collection into your Postman account. Next on Postman.com, you'll be asked to configure your fork. You can leave the default values in place here and then select Fork Collection. In the Postman app, you should now see the DocuSign collection you installed. Here, it's the eSignature REST API collection. You should also verify the environment you configured was installed. 
From the top right Environment menu, select DocuSign Account D. Before you can start making API calls though, you need an access token. DocuSign APIs are secure. With every API request you make, you must present your access token or DocuSign refuses the request. DocuSign uses OAuth 2.0 authentication and supports several authentication workflows, including authorization code grant with or without PKCE, JSON Web Token Grant, and Implicit Grant. Here, I'll show you how to get an access token in Postman using authorization code grant. First, open the eSignature REST API collection, scroll down to the authentication folder, and open the request post 01 authorization code grant access token. Then, select the body tab to see its properties. Notice the code property. That's for the OAuth authorization code that you must present to get an access token. I'll show you how to get that next. Authorization code grant works by asking a user to log in to their DocuSign account, thereby verifying their identity to DocuSign, and grant your application permission to access DocuSign APIs on their behalf. When the user grants your app permission, DocuSign responds with an authorization code. When you build a DocuSign integration, you can program it to perform this step, but here I'll just do it directly in a browser window. To request the authorization code, you need to construct a URL like this. The scope parameter defines what permissions the user will be granting to your app. In this case, the signature permission grants your app the permission to create and send envelopes and do most things that the eSignature REST API is capable of. The client ID parameter is your app's integration key. This lets DocuSign know which application the user is granting permissions to. The redirect URI is the redirect URI you added for your callback URL when you created the app. Make sure that this exactly matches the redirect URI you registered, or this request will return an error. Once you've constructed this URL and pasted it into a browser window as I'm doing, DocuSign will open a screen that lets you log in to your DocuSign account, if you're not logged in already, and grant your app permissions. When you've done that, it redirects your browser to the callback URL with an additional parameter code that contains the authorization code that DocuSign just granted. Work quickly, because this authorization code is only good for two minutes. If you fail to complete the next step in that time, the code will expire, and you'll have to generate it again. Extract the value of the code parameter from the callback URL and paste it into the API request in Postman, then select Send. If you've done it within the time limit, you'll see the response below in Postman, containing two properties in the response object, access token and refresh token. The expires in property lets you know this access token expires in 28,800 seconds or 8 hours. Postman stores the access token and refresh token values in your environment variables, which you can view by selecting this icon at the top right next to the name of your workspace. Now you're ready to make any other DocuSign API calls you like. This video got you started with the DocuSign Postman collections. In future videos, we'll show you how to use these collections to test DocuSign API calls and view the responses. To learn more, visit the DocuSign Developer Center. Explore our documentation, join the developer community, and get started working with DocuSign API calls in Postman. Thanks for watching. Thank you.